you for joining us for another episode of IDP TV. My name is Diane Hewitt, and we're going to be talking to Amy Chavez, who's running for County Board 5. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Wonderful. So one of the things that I think people are always wondering is, what made you decide to run for County Board 5? Well, it's interesting because I started attending some of the county board meetings when we were um, getting reports on the news in our community about the elections equipment and the votes not getting counted very quickly and the results coming in a little behind other counties. And so I thought, you know, let me just start attending a few meetings, see what's going on. So I went to a few meetings, got a broad sense of what was going on. And then there was a candidate locally who was kind of in a primary and then removed from the ballot and so then I went and attended a few more meetings to get a little more information and in the process of attending the meetings I really got an understanding of what the county board offered to our community and I realized that they had just a really wide breadth of um, services that are covered by the county board and a lot of those services are things that mean a lot to me and I've got a lot of background in budgeting and that's another big thing, of course, that the county board does is handles about $480 million of our taxpayer dollars. But what I realized was that a lot of the things um, within the budget weren't necessarily getting workshopped to a deep level. And I was a little concerned about that. And I thought, you know, that's something that I have expertise in and some knowledge that I could bring to the table. And so I started to think about running for office and specifically running for county board. And I actually attended some of the trainings that are offered by some of our local democratic organizations. <laughs> you happen to be at one of them. <laughs> and I learned a lot about what it means to be a candidate and what it means to serve our community. And uh, so I thought it was just a great time for me to jump in. Family-wise, um, my kids are just now starting junior high school, and I've been super involved as they were in elementary school, but as all the moms know that after that, your time kind of frees up now that they're more independent, and I thought now's a great time to jump in and serve. Wonderful. Now, what, what, do you, what would you like to be doing um, after you get elected to county board? Well, I think there's a lot of things. Um, I, of course, mentioned the budget. My um, background is in really digging deep into budgets and handling really big picture prop, uh, problems and projects. When I worked for Lucent Technologies, I worked on the Salt Lake City Olympic Committee and uh, with them as the liaison from Lucent Technologies. So I attended all the Salt Lake City Olympic Committee meetings for telecommunications. We evaluated each venue within all of the different areas in, around the Salt Lake City area. We worked with the, the municipalities to really build out an infrastructure that would last not only for the Olympics, but for generations to come would support the community. So my job was to liaison that and to budget for that. So every part of that RFP hit my desk and I had to make sure that we stayed within the $350 million budget to handle all these different venues. So I really know how to dig deep into budgets. And that's something I think that we need to do at the county board, as I mentioned. So hopefully those skills will come into play. But I also have true democratic values. Um, I think one of the things that we're lacking right now is some environmental protections for our county. And I think the county board needs to look at ways that we can better support programs that are in place, like Cool DuPage. Um, for instance, we have certain metrics that we're supposed to meet by 2020, by 2030, but there hasn't been a lot of talk about it lately. And here we are at 2020. Have we met these metrics? Do we have things in place that can really measure? Do we know if we're moving in the right direction environmentally in this county and protecting it, protecting our water, our air for future generations? And of course, as a mom, you think in those long-term um, goals. So that would be another thing. Um, we've got great services. And I think one of the things that I, another thing I have a heart for is um, gun prevention, violence, gun prevention, and of course we just had the one-year anniversary, unfortunately, of the shooting in Aurora. Um, but I think when we look at county board, there's some question, can we really make a difference at the county level with things like that? And I think one, we can do it through advocacy, through our state legislators, and of course, as a county board member, I would have a bit of a platform, and I have a personal experience with that because my father was a victim of gun violence. So I could share my own experiences um, to help influence legislation. And I do think there are some small things that we can do at the county level. We've got, of course, control over judicial, over sheriff, over health department. And I think all three of those areas are um, important um, components of solving gun control violence or gun violence. So those are things I'd like to work on. Great. 
Now, voting is actually right now. You、Yay. can vote by mail. <laughs> It's very exciting,、um, and the election is counting down. But one of the questions that I think people are always wondering to know is, what would you like people to know before they start voting for you? I think they need to know that I came into this just very organically. I want to serve my community.、Um, I really didn't know anyone previous to join jumping into this. Um, so I really come into it with a true sense of community, wanting to serve my community, wanting to be an independent voice on the county board, really looking at the needs of District Five, and I'm very accessible. I mean, I'm the type of person that puts my cell phone number out there.、Um, I want to sit down and have coffee with the people that live nearby me that may have concerns.、Um, so I want to be that kind of.、Um, Representative voice, someone who really listens, who takes that information, who can see the big picture, and can kind of figure out how we solve problems. So I think that's what we need in leadership right now: is people who can see the big picture, break it down, and make things happen. So that's why I would love to get the vote of everyone in District Five because it is coming up and it's actually here. So. Uh, we're so close to March seventeenth. It's kind of crazy. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my gosh! Today is a good day to vote.、Um, you can get a mail-in ballot application as well from the DuPage Clerk's Office, and、um, you can also vote early in po- person at four twenty-one North County Farm Road from eight a.m. to four thirty Monday through Friday. So please make your voting plan, and the election is coming up on March seventeenth, twenty twenty. Thank you very much for joining us for another episode of IDP TV. I'm Amy Chavez, and I'm running for DuPage County Board in District Five. And on March 17th, I'd so appreciate your vote. So please vote Amy Chavez for DuPage County Board.